yo, hey, what? Yo, hey, yo, 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 hey, uh, uh, yeah, diamonds when I walk, diamonds when I walk, yeah, yeah, walk, walk, talk, uh, yeah, ooh. Diamonds on my balls, look at my wrist, look at my bitch, look at my dick, hey, huh, hey, hey, huh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Bradley here with Brad Taste to Music. And I warn you, you are literally, and I cannot stress this enough, literally about to enter my mind. Get ready. You should all know how that lemonade is made. Interesting. Well, let's get serious. There are two much bigger problems that need to be addressed with the content here. Hey there, folks. Welcome to Help. So you talk about actively screwing other girls, killing people, expensive sunglasses and watches. But you know what? Let's think deeper. We're going to be talking about fucking your neighbor's daughter at Best Buy. I get the feeling that XXXTentacion knows that this project is absolutely freaking genius. Absolutely freaking awful. He's mostly moaning badly about his sex, 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 sex through a blurry haze of malformed self-loathing the newest album from Seth Snooters question mark no I'm not gonna reference his violent rhetoric that shows no evidence I mean you'd think given the domestic abuse charges XXX Tentacion could hit so much harder I just don't understand of course it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense like a rapper like Eminem J. Cole Taylor Swift would have a career sad but you know what pain will always be his friend this is where the deeper thought completely excused XXX Tentacion's domestic abuse charges Even defaulting to the by the numbers flexing and sexing and actively screwing other girls incidentally of course we get our fair share of fucking your auntie your grandma and your sister and that's not even touching on smash oh really oh my god please take a look for the Bayonetta. The key word of this review is gonna be self-loathing. Spin on the dick like a basic bog standard pussy. They turn on the audience, much less flourish in the way he has. And while for me it's a classic out of 10, shocker, I can recommend it, badass. You aspire to be XXX Tentacion. Okay, that didn't go too well. <laughs> no, but seriously, I haven't done a serious review on any albums, so. Here's what my thoughts were. My thoughts are that Spectrum Pulse did an absolutely amazing job at wrapping up the album. And I got nothing I can add. It's shit. It's total shit. It's a 1.5. Like, this album's horrific. I, I got no words for it, man. It's something where when you start your album off with the most god-fucking-pretentious possible intro that I've heard, even more pretentious than 17, which basically saying that He's a genius, and you need to listen to his shit, and focus, and be open-minded. You have to be open-minded to actually understand. No, no, open-mindedness is not going to do jack for anything here. This thing is like a amateur demo throwaway. I really just only enjoyed that one song that was like that boom bap rap song. Besides that, this whole entire project is god unlistenable. While he's being more... Diverse, I call it unorganized. It's clear that the direction he was going in is he was just intentionally just trying to confuse someone into thinking something's good. That's like what Kid Cudi did, right? Kid Cudi confuses people to think his music's actually good. I'm talking, talking specifically like it's being bold to heaven. Pitchfork gave that 70 still. They have to live with that, by the way. That's rough. That's rough. Anyways, this whole review has just been one giant goof. I don't even know what I'm doing.